Hello, everyone. I'm Holly Days. And I'm Nick Jolly. And you're watching the one, the only, North, North Pole, Pole News. News. We're reporting to you live in our studio in the coldest place on Earth. That's right, Nick. It's the, the North, North Pole. Pole. And can you believe it? It's almost Christmas Day. We only have two days left. I am so excited. <laughs> I can hardly stand it. It's getting very close. <laughs> hey, Holly, I've got a joke. What did Adam say the day before Christmas? I don't know. What? It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> Get it? Christmas Eve. But it's his wife's name, Eve. Like Adam and Eve. But it was Christmas Eve. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a good one. While you're asking such fantastic questions, I think it's time for our North Pole Pole. Thanks, Holly. The question is, drum roll please. What do you think is my Christmas gift to Nick? Your choices are A, a snowman, B, a reindeer, or C, a Christmas tree. Audience, if you think that it is a snowman, go ahead and tip your hat. If you think that it is a reindeer, go ahead and take your hands like this and wiggle those antlers. And finally, if you think that it is a Christmas tree, stand up and make yourself a Christmas tree with your hands like this. And the correct answer is... A snowman! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, oops, it didn't quite look like my snowman made the trip. That's okay, we can put them in the freezer as soon as our show is over. Well, congrats to all the voters who guessed a snowman. That was exciting, Holly. And thank you for my gift. It was awesome. That was exciting. You know what else is exciting? We have Carol Ling, our location reporter, in a local neighborhood where it seems like there are some kids that are very excited about what's being sent to their Christmas. Let's find out more about this remarkable story. Carol? Carol Link here reporting live from Snowy Acres, a new neighborhood here in the North Pole. Something amazing is happening. Christmas presents have been raining down from the sky. Kids have been going outside and finding gifts from their Christmas lists sitting in their front yards. Uh, let me see if I can find someone to talk to. Oh, hello there. Hi. Can you tell me what's been going on here today? We aren't exactly sure. I just woke up this morning and looked outside to see gifts raining down from the sky. I went outside and unwrapped the first gift I could find, and it was this bike. It's exactly what I asked for. So you have no idea how these gifts got here? Nope, but who cares? This is the greatest gift of all time. I mean, this is really what Christmas is all about. Getting more presents than ever before. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, hi there, hi. Um, what do you think about all these gifts that are falling down from the sky? I don't know, but what I do know is that I found this bag outside my house and this money was inside of it. Like, that was the greatest present ever. No other present can beat money raining down from the sky. Whoa, well, that is a lot of money. Let's talk to someone else. Hello there. Hi, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Uh, sure. Does it have to do with all these gifts raining down from the sky? Well, actually, it does. Um, what do you think about all these gifts and who's sending them? I'm not really sure, but I wanted a giant stuffed bear for Christmas, and I went outside this morning, and this was in my front yard. It is the greatest gift ever. So, let me get this straight. All of you think that these gifts that have been raining from the sky are the greatest gifts ever? Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. And it sounds like you all think that Christmas is only about getting the presents that you want. Well, yeah, duh. And what else would Christmas be about other than getting the presents that you want? I've never heard of a greater gift than the presents we got today. Hmm. There's more to Christmas than you all might think. It sounds like you're in quite the pickle. Pickle! Whoa, what's happening? Are those elves? Yes, they're my friends. Cool! <laughs> you are going to love them. Hi, I'm Joe. My name is Mo. I'm Bo. 
Did we hear someone say, Pickle? We're here to help! But we're also eating pickles! What seems to be the problem today? Did your bells lose their jingle? Did too much snow fall in your ear? Have you been eating too many pickles? Um, no? I don't think there's a problem here. Our Christmas presents are falling from the sky. And they're the greatest gifts ever! Presents falling from the sky? That does sound great! Great indeed! But I'm afraid that those gifts are not the greatest gifts ever! There's only one gift that's the greatest, and it was given to us a long time ago. We'll tell you the story! It comes from the book where we find all our answers! The, the Bible. Bible! But first you'll need these! Look through the viewfinder, and we'll tell you the story about the greatest gift in the whole wide world! <laughs> In the beginning of time, God was best friends with Adam and Eve. They spent time together in the Garden of Eden, enjoying everything God had made. They were BFFs. Adam and Eve had one rule to follow in the Garden. One day, they sinned and broke that rule. Disobeying God hurt their friendship with Him really bad. That meant they were separated from God, and sadly, they were no longer BFFs. Oh man! Since then, everyone started disobeying God and hurting their friendship with Him. But God loved Adam and Eve and everyone in the world. He knew that their friendship would never be fixed unless a miracle happened. God had a plan to fix our friendship with Him. He sent messages about His plan through people called prophets. The prophets told everyone that God was going to send His Son to take the punishment for all the wrong things that everyone was doing. But nobody knew when He was going to come. One day, God sent an angel named Gabriel to a young woman named Mary. The angel told Mary some amazing news. Mary was going to have a baby. But this wasn't an ordinary baby. This baby was going to be God's son. Mary did not know how this could happen! But the angel said, nothing is impossible for God. And the angel was correct. When Jesus was about to be born, Mary and her husband Joseph had to go on a trip to a place called Bethlehem. But when they arrived, it seemed like there was no place to stay. But God had a plan! He wanted Mary and Joseph to spend the night in a barn! And that's where Jesus was born. Yes, that is where God sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. Jesus did not come as a mighty ruler riding on a horse or a rich man dressed in fancy clothes. He didn't come as a president or a governor. He didn't even come as a grown-up. Jesus came as a baby. People were very surprised because God sent Jesus in such an unexpected way. God may have sent Jesus as a baby, but God sent him to be our Savior and fix our friendship with him. God sent his son to be the Savior of the world. The end. That was awesome. Whoa. That was so cool. Look. You see, God has given us the greatest gift of all time. He sent his son Jesus to be the Savior of the world. And because of that, our friendship with God can be fixed forever. And we can be BFFs again. We hope you liked our story today. And we hope you learned that... God sent his son to be the Savior of the world. Our job here is done. Bye for now. Peace out. I'm so glad my friends could help us. Hey, can we keep these? Oh, of course. They will remind you that God sent his son to be the Savior of the world and that Christmas is really all about him. Not so much about all these presents falling from the sky. Yeah, Jesus is the only one who can be our Savior. Yeah, I never realized that God sent Jesus to be the Savior of the world. And that getting gifts on Christmas is great and all, but the greatest gift ever is Jesus. Exactly. We've learned a very important lesson today. God sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. I'm Carol Ling reporting live from Snowy Acres. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Carol. What an incredible celebration you get to be a part of there. I must say, I've never seen presents being sent from the sky before. Very true, Nick. I think we can all agree, though, that the greatest gift ever given to us was Jesus. We should all remember that God sent His Son to be the Savior of our world. Hmm, you're right about that. 
Let's find out what else is going on in the North Pole as we get closer and closer to Christmas. Our first top story of the day actually takes us back a few days ago, where a robbery happened on Snowman Lane. Authorities questioned the suspect, but no charges were filed. We recently found out that the suspect did intend to harm the victim. The robber planned to melt the victim with the hairdryer in order to steal the sugary gum. <gasps> what? Are you serious? Upon learning this information, authorities immediately tracked down the suspect and sentenced him to the hard time in the slammer. Holly, does this mean jail? Yep, it does. But that's where the next twist comes in. There's another twist? This is getting twistier than a game of Twister. An anonymous North Pole news viewer heard about the story and in honor of the Christmas season, he decided to give the robber a gift. He gave the robber a swimming pool of Lucky Charms? No, Nick. Not that kind of an amazing gift. The viewers decided to take the punishment for the robber so that he didn't have to go to jail. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that some random innocent person volunteered to serve jail sentence in the place of a snowman robber? That's right. Wow. I would never expected that one. Having someone take your punishment would be the greatest gift ever. It sounds like what Jesus did for us. It sure does. The police said that there are no laws against jail substitution. So it looks like our suspect is free. He says he's learned his lesson and he will stop doing the wrong things. I think it's safe to say that our robber will be celebrating tonight. I know I would be. Hey, Holly, I've got a snowman joke. Want to hear it? Alrighty then. Okay, what do snowmen eat for breakfast? I don't know, ice cream? No, frosted flakes. Very funny. I think it's time for you to do your story now. In other news, we have something good to report about Rafi the Reindeer. As we've been following his story, we've had the opportunity to witness the relationship between a barn owner and his most loved reindeer. As many of you know, several weeks ago, Rafi disobeyed his owner, Douglas Pine, by eating a bad batch of apples that were clearly marked do not eat. Because of his disobedience, he was kicked out of the barn and their friendship was hurt. But recently, Mr. Pine has met a way for Ralphie to come back home. Not only did Mr. Pine forgive Ralphie and accept him back into the barn, but he gave him some amazing gifts. He gave Ralphie a newer, more modern stall and a fluffy reindeer bed. He also received a newly bedazzled collar to wear and his very own feeding bowl. Ollie, can you believe all of the things Mr. Pine has done? No one would have expected him to go out of his way, welcoming Ralphie back home like that with all of those gifts, but he did. It is quite remarkable, and it's clear that Ralphie's owner loves him in an amazing way. Yep, he sure does. What a great lesson for all of us to learn. Our final top story is a bizarre one. It looks like people have decided to celebrate Christmas in the most unexpected ways this year. We've recently received pictures of people decorating with Christmas lights in all sorts of ways. Everything from decorating dogs, cars, and brothers. As you can see, people are going all out this year for Christmas celebrating. It sure is going to be the best ever. Hey Holly, I want to celebrate by telling you a joke. You ready? Okay, what kind of paper likes music? I don't know, musical paper? No. Wrapping paper! <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. I've got another one. Guess what time it is. What time is it? It's game time!
gosh, that was such a fun game. It sure was. It's now time for our North Pole news weather update. Finally, after weeks of waiting, the clouds have disappeared and it looks like we are getting a great gift. The sun has finally come out. We've been waiting for so long to see the sun. Temperatures are warming up, so let's take a look at our seven day forecast. As you can see, it may be icy outside, but the sun is on its way. Temperatures will be steady with a slight dip at night, but overall the weather for your Christmas celebration should be delightful. I hope you can all get outside and soak up the sun. We aren't the only ones soaking up the sun, Nick. Over in Polar Bear Park, a couple of polar bears were spotted catching some rays earlier today. That's right, meet Fuzzy. And Wuzzy, they're my friends. So your friends are polar bears, Nick? That's just unbearable. Holly. Did you just tell a joke? I think I did. I'm so proud of you. You just... Wow, I mean... I didn't even think of that joke. I'm just so proud of you. Oh, come on, Nick. It was just a little funny. You've given me the gift of Christmas joke joy. I'm so happy. All right. Well, we are all very <laughs> emotional about the great gifts that we get this Christmas, but we should all remember that God sent his son to be our savior of the world. And that is the best present that we could ever receive. That is so true, Holly. And that is our broadcast for today. We hope you have a fun celebrating with your family and friends. And we close by thanking God for the greatest gift ever, his son. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm Holly Days. And I'm Nick Jolly. We hope to see you here tomorrow on... The, the North, North Pole, Pole News. News. Have a jolly day.